So the final race of day one, the Grand National Week, is a two and a half mile handicap hurdle of 0 to 110. So our top weight's going to be cracking down for John Morgan, Craig Beck with Day Tripper, Fox in the Box of Pedro Coda, Matt Cooper's the Tiger, Ushindi Wen for Alex Cherry, Empire Central for Stu Gray, and Vissy Street for Matt Cooper. Just seven of them over two and a half miles. Tiger and uh, Vissy Street for Matt Cooper coming here mob handed. Uh, his two, and it's cracking down the top weight. Uh, takes up the lead as we'd expect. Uh, John Morgan run up as we go over the first of the 12 for the DMPC handicap hurdle. Uh, the last race of the day. I hope you've had some winners. Heavy conditions here. The rain's pouring down. It's probably about quarter to five over two here and these jockeys will be wanting to go home and it's cracking down that still leads as they go over the third leads by about three from the rest who are not that interested in going with him fox in the box up against the round the yellow silks and day tripper a little bit wider is empire central and the two matt cooper horses busy street and the tiger and just at the rear is shindy win plenty of experience that horse been around for donkeys they go over the fourth. They'll clear that as well. So cracking down. It's got a cracking lead here. Leads by about six. From the rest, all tightly grouped. Widest of all and closest to us is Empire Central. Shindy Wynn's got nowhere to go, but well covered up by taking a keen hold. Cracking down just takes a hold again. He might well have gone off a little bit swift here. Although, good advantage in these heavy conditions. Although we have noticed in a fair few races, people have been caught on the line, which is very unusual in heavy conditions. Good old start as old as AI. But it's cracking down. And it is cracking down with rain. He goes over the six. So half the flights have done. Through a mile. So a mile and a half to go. Another full circuit. And it's cracking down that leads by five to the Tiger. He's moving into second on his own up against the rallies. Fox in the box. Shendi Wen with a little bit of room now. Vissy Street. Empire Central and Day Tripper a little bit wider. They're going to swing left-handed. And it is still cracking down for John Morgan. Leads by just three now to the Tiger. And then Fox in the box and Shendi Wen. And Vissy Street and Day Tripper and Empire Central. Still in with a chance here. It's cracking down. Takes... A little bit of a breather now. Allows the Tiger to get closer. Leads down to three. Fox in the box and Ushindi winner together. And the three, Visty Street, Empire Central and Day Tripper. Seven lengths between first and last. But still cracking down. The top weight. Come inside the final mile. Still leading us into the next. Takes it well. We'll jump that a little slow with Day Tripper. The rest, but cracking down by a couple of lengths to the Tiger, Fox in the box, and Ushendi when as they go over the eighth. So again was Day Tripper, jumped there by Empire Central on the wide outside. So with six furlongs to go, cracking down takes him over the ninth, which is four from home. And his advantage is gone now as Fox in the box comes to head him. With Empire Central just on the outside, the Tiger on the inside, taking a hole, got nowhere to go. A bit blocked in, Vissy Street, then Ushendi Wen and Day Tripper. Fox in the Box just noses in front. So we're just going to have a couple to take now. And it's Fox in the Box and cracking down. The Tiger Empire Central and Vissy Street as they go over the 10th. So with just two to take, it's Fox in the Box and cracking down. From the Tiger and Empire Central are both starting to be pushed along now. Shendi Wen starts to make a move. Day Tripper on the wide outside. Vissy Street hasn't asked for anything yet. But Fox in the Box looks quite comfortable up front here. As he comes down to the penultimate, it's Fox in the Box starting to pull away from cracking down. And the Empire Central, Tiger and Day Day Tripper, Shendi Wen trying to run on. Fissy Street's got a lot to do in these conditions, but it's Fox in the Box pulling away from the rest. Coming down to the penultimate, takes it well from cracking down. Day Tripper and Empire Central. The Tiger's not got anything left. You can ride off the rest with a firm and a half left to run. Fox in the Box is tiring up. Here they come, Empire Central. Day Tripper made a mistake, and it's Fox in the Box inside the final furlong from Empire Central up on the outside. It's coming down to the last half, and it's Empire Central from cracking down. Fox in the Box is going backwards. Day Tripper, Empire 
Empire Central may take the DPMC, but it will be cracking down up on the inside. But he just hangs on Empire Central. Ooh, second winner of the day for Stu Gray. Well done with Empire Central. Quite a shocker with my National Hunt stable. They are rubbish. But another win. And looks like he had a little bit in hand from crackling, cracking down for John Morgan, our long-time leader in second. Third was Craig Beckwith's Day Tripper. Fourth was Fox in the box for Pedro Hogan. And the Tiger for Matt Cooper was fifth. We'll see you tomorrow for the Grand National.